Hello all, welcome back to Tech Tapture. So in this video, we are going to see how we can connect to a Cloud SQL public instance. So there are two options to connect to our Cloud SQL public instance from Workbench or our system. So first is using authorized network and second using a Cloud SQL auth proxy. So I will be seeing both of the options here. So first I will see how we can connect to this public MySQL instance using authorized network so what is a public instance so the instance which is having a public ip so on my screen currently you can see there are two instances first is a private instance which do not have public ip and it is only having the private ip so you cannot connect directly from the internet to the first instance but the second instance is having a public ip so you can connect to this instance from the internet so i will be connecting to this public instance from my laptop so i have a microsoft uh, MySQL sorry MySQL workbench installed in my system so I'll be using a Microsoft workbench so before that to connect we have to add our IP address in a authorized network so if you go to connection here in networking so you will see this authorized network so this will be enabled only if you have this public IP if you remove this public IP your authorized network will be gone so this option is only for public IP instance or a public instance so here I need to add a external IP address of my so I'll just find my external IP and I'll copy it to my authorized network so I'll just copy it okay before that I'll show you what will happen if I try to connect without adding no external IP so let's open a workbench okay and let's try to connect so let me put a IP address of my instance so this is external IP address I will be using to connect let me give the name as a test connection here I will put host name I will be using a root user only and let me check the test connection and you can see I got an error cannot connect to a database server okay so now let me add this my external IP to a authorized network and then we'll try again okay so we'll go to connection we'll just give the name local and here IP address let me save it okay it's completed so let me go back and retry again okay now it's connected and it's asking for password let me put the password Yeah, so I'm able to access MySQL instance. So let me see if it is having the same databases, sales and system. So let me go to database. Yeah, so sales and system. It is not showing other. It won't show that in MySQL. So let me execute a query. Okay, and we'll see what are the tables customer so let me run select query okay and we are able to fetch this data so in this way using authorized network we can access our public cloud sql instance from our local system so that's it for this video in next video we'll see how we can access our public cloud sql instance without adding ip address in authorized network for that we have to use a cloud sql auth proxy so we'll see you in a next video